Yo, what is up guys, it is Kobe, and today I have the first of a little series that I'm going to be doing where I try to teach you how to improve your aim and your accuracy within Black Ops 2. Now, I believe your overall gun skill holds about a third of the weight when it comes down to doing well in a game, and the other two thirds is positioning and map awareness. Now, these tip videos are going to be a little different than my other tip videos in the past because I'm going to be separating them into separate parts where I teach you separate things. However, they all work together towards that one common goal of bettering your aim, your accuracy, and your gun skill. Now, many of you already know some of these tips and practice them and use them, and that's okay if you don't as well. That's why I'm going to be making these videos to cover all the bases and help you improve. And if you could smack that like rating on this video, I'd really, really appreciate it. I'd like to get some support on this little series that I'm going to be doing for you guys. But yeah, let's get into this. So the first thing I want to talk about is sensitivities. And sensitivity is really important. I'm sure you guys all know that. It adjusts the speed in which you turn while moving your right analog stick. And it's kind of popular belief that faster is better. And I think that comes from like gameplay commentators. More times than not, will play on like at least a 7 sensitivity. And what people forget to realize is that the success that they are getting in those gameplays are more from map positioning and not their actual gun skill. But regardless, you have to plan a sensitivity you're comfortable with and not just up it because you think you'll turn on kids easier. For me personally, I play on 5. That's what feels the best and that's what allows me to have the best accuracy as possible. However, I do stoop down to a 4 and raise it to a 6 depending on what weapon I'm using. A good way that I found to help you figure out your ideal sensitivity is to hop in a game or even just a private match with some bots and use the KSG. Now with this gun, you only get one bullet or one slug. So you need to be extremely accurate and when you're using it, if you find that it takes a little while for you to lock onto your enemy, your sensitivity is probably a little too high for you. So just mess around with their settings, figure out what's most effective for you personally and don't just use something because someone else uses it. And if you think you're fairly comfortable with the sensitivity you're currently on, leave it in the comments down below. I'd really like to see the variety of sensitivities that you guys all play on. Now another big tip I have for you that you do even before you begin aiming is being conscious of your crosshairs and which way you are facing. You always want them centered on where the enemies are most likely to come. So for an example, when you're going up a stairway, looking directly at the stairs is completely useless and puts you at a disadvantage if an enemy would present himself at the top of the stairs. So always thinking ahead where enemies are likely to come from and not letting your guard down because that half a second that you would spend turning to face your enemy is what gets you killed most of the time especially in a twitch shooter like call of duty so this in particular is something that you want to get into muscle memory not really something you want to be thinking about all the time but while you're traversing the map just being aware of possible engagements will help you no matter what you are playing so that's all I got for you for this super short first part of this little series on improving your aim and gun skill. I know this was super super basic stuff, but that's why I wanted to get it out of the way, because I still do want to cover all the bases and not leave anything out. As we go on to more videos, the ideas and tips will become a little more complex, so just try to master one thing at a time, and by the end of it, hopefully we'll see a real difference. Now if you are struggling with your aim, whether you're using that KHG, or if you're just playing in general, don't worry, you just gotta keep playing and mess around with those settings, and sooner or later you will get the hang of it. Practice really does make perfect in this scenario. So I hope you guys enjoyed this particular episode and if you want to see more and support it, make sure to leave a like for me, it would really help me out and once this video hits like 200 likes, I'll upload the next one. 200 likes, I know that's a fairly big number, but I know you guys can do it. But thank you guys for watching, if you missed my last video, I did a little parody breakdown of the Uprising trailer. It's pretty stupid, but a lot of you guys seem to like it. As well as my latest comparison video where we try to figure out the best LMG, so go check those out if you want. Twitter and other links are down in the description and I'll see you guys later. Peace.